There are certain things that turn me on particularly about going to a sex party. Sometimes if you're just having sex with one person behind closed doors, it's easy to become a bit lazy. When other people are watching you, it's almost more a performance, like an erotic performance. I like watching porn, um, but what's better than watching live porn for free? And until a few months ago, I was in quite a long relationship with someone who wasn't up for exploring anything. So as soon as that ended, I was quite keen to just explore what else was out there. I found it hard to be sexually satisfied by just being with one person. The idea of actually seeing my boyfriend having sex with another girl in front of me, that would turn me on, I think, rather than cause me to feel jealous. I think young people are much more open to this kind of lifestyle now, and I wonder if that's due in part to the sort of rise of internet porn. So it's just living out your fantasies, really, and sort of taking it from having watched it as a teenager online to actually realizing as a young adult, I can consent to doing this and other people are consenting too. I've met lots of couples since I've been kind of exploring threesomes and foursomes and things. They have lots of different kinds of relationships, but these are professional working people. You wouldn't ever necessarily think that they were swinging. In terms of what I'm looking for tonight, I like being with girls, so, and that can be quite difficult to find in my everyday life. At the party tonight, um, I've been asked to host, so I think that puts me in a different kind of power position to how I'd been the last time I'd gone in on my own as a single girl, really quite nervous, not sure what to expect. I'm hoping secretly that it will make me more attractive to people. I think you always want to get with a person who's kind of running something or has some level of authority, so hopefully I'll have my pick of people tonight. I do get a small kick from knowing that no one at work has any idea about this alternative life that I'm living. So if someone were to put me down at work, I would know that I have this other world to escape to. I don't have any sense that I would like to sort of slow down and stop sleeping with more people anytime soon. I think if my number keeps rising, then that's fine. I enjoyed myself so much at the last sex party that I did speak to one of my best friends about it. I wasn't sure what her reaction would be, but actually, surprisingly, she was really keen to attend herself. She spoke to her boyfriend about it, and they've now agreed to attend tonight. Oh, thanks so go. much. So once we'd got undressed, the girls were in the lingerie, the boys had their shirts off, the atmosphere very quickly changed. I think everyone was like, okay, this isn't a cocktail party, we're here to have sex, and let's get on with it. So I met a Spanish couple, they'd come over from Barcelona from the party, never been to a sex party before, and what really interested me about that couple was that the girl had never been with another girl before. She was so nervous to even kiss another girl that her boyfriend decided to blindfold her, which she consented to, um, and then had her first kiss with me. And kind of within seconds, she was okay with being with girls. After a while, my best friend and her boyfriend joined me in that room um, and they kind of got into more of a group sex vibe. I knew they'd be attending, um, but we hadn't really talked about whether we would do anything together. I started kissing her boyfriend, we were sort of doing stuff with each other. Um, it actually attracted quite a crowd. So yeah. <laughs> they thought we were attractive and having fun, lots of people stopping at the door and watching. But then, obviously, great to see my best friend, great to sort of get to know her boyfriend a bit better, and then we all decided that we may as well come back and sleep at mine, um, kind of continue the night a little bit. I think as a single girl, it can be a little bit lonely to go back on your own after a sex party. We have never played together, just the two of us. It was actually something I was quite nervous about before going. Um, I mean, when you're with your best friend and you're doing things, like, it's that you're within your comfort zone. Um, but sort of coming out of that comfort zone and just letting, letting yourself go, it's a new experience. I don't know how I would have felt if my boyfriend had gone off into another room without me. Um, I, I can actually sometimes be quite a jealous person, particularly when I've had a drink or so. Um, and that was probably one of the things I was most worried about before coming to the party, that I would see him with another girl and get really upset about it. We actually sort of drew out boundaries for each other before we went and we talked about it in detail um, and we'd said that at least for this time we'd everything we did we'd sort of just stay together and do stuff and we wouldn't mind what we did with other people as long as we were both involved um, and I think that worked really well with us which was something I was worried about originally that I would leave feeling empty or that 
sort of, I don't know, a bit worthless and dirty, I suppose, but it wasn't like that at all. I felt great. I didn't actually have sex with any other men there, but I don't know if that is something I do want to do. That's, have, that's probably something I'm gonna have to have a good think about before next time. Thank you.